When it comes to addressing sexual violence, the number one fear many military professionals have around the world is the failure for their programs and training to create positive behavioral change in the lives of the men and women serving our country. We need to go from a don't what not to do approach to a what to do approach. What can I personally do to make an impact? So I ask you as an audience, is Aaron worth intervening for, yes or no? Yes. Why? Raise your hand and give me reasons you believe Aaron is worth intervening for, yes? Because, I'm a human being. Uh, because it's a human being. How many agree that's the only reason I need that every human being deserves to be treated with a basic level of dignity and respect? If you agree with that statement, say yes, I do. Yes, I do. Today, installations know that they need programs they are gonna give the men and women on that installation and in that community precise skills they can use immediately upon leaving the training. What Jordan's doing, just on a common sense level, is it right or wrong? Wrong! It's wrong, no matter where we go, people say, well, this is so easy, it's wrong. Be nice to have role models out there that you know that are doing things to um, reflect the same message that was given today. That means we completely misread Stephanie. She was only letting us know she was a little interested, and we took it much further. Do these kind of misreads happen a little bit or a lot? Uh, if you're married, say yes, I am. Yes, I am. Do you still misread each other in marriage? Yes or no? Yes. Listen to the women. Yes, a guy. No, never. Yeah. There's a lot more yeses there than noes. For me, this is personal. In 1989, I received a phone call from my mom that the youngest of my older sisters had been raped. It was a very simple and clear thought. I wanted him dead. I felt the rage, I felt the anger. I thought what I was gonna do when I got my hands around his neck. And then I had to take a breath. And over time, I'd have to look in the mirror and ask myself, do I really have a right to want this person dead after they've raped someone I care about. If I didn't do anything to stop someone just like them Friday night right in front of me before they raped someone. Incredibly powerful and so crucial in our ranks. I learned a lot from this guy today. He gave us a briefing and uh, he, he makes a lot of sense with the things he's, he told us today. What we've been doing for two decades, specifically with the U.S. military, is asking the audience questions. The audience's answers determine where we go. And now we're giving them the solutions they're asking for. And one of the coolest aspects of working with the military is that we're not reinventing the wheel here. Respect is a core value within the U.S. military. What we're doing is strengthening that foundation of respect so that we truly have a culture of respect throughout. Now here's the weird part. Most people believe asking first is the right thing to do. They do, like if you walk up to somebody and say, hey, does every human being deserve a choice before you do something with their body sexually or intimately? What would you answer to that? Does every human being deserve a choice before you do something with their body sexually or intimately, yes or no? Yes. How do you normally give somebody a choice in life? You simply ask a question. We all believe in asking first. Yes. 